Right, to bleed your brakes, what you need to do is you need to have the uh, access to this point here. There's a nipple here. As you can see, I'm going to open it. There, I've opened this nipple. This is the brake bleeder. And you'll need, if you're going to be a one man job, you're going to need some uh, cylinders, uh, one man cylinders. What, it, what they do is you fasten it onto the bleeder. When you pump the brakes, it only allows the oil to go one way so that air doesn't get sucked back into the system. Uh, and then you will need a, a dish of some sort. And then you can, the reason why I use a clean dish is that I want to see the brake fluid until it looks like the color that is brand new. Now, important thing with dot for brake fluid, and well, this is for this car, is once you've opened brake fluid, you don't really want to uh, keep it for very long. So you don't want to go find old brake fluids that have been lying in your, in your, in your shed for, for like two years. You, you want to use it in one go. Um, so that's why I put brand new ones. The, in order to, to do this job, you need to loosen this pin, this uh, little nut here. Uh, not completely, just a couple of turns. So what you need, so the first thing you need to have access there. Now in my case, I've jacked up the car because I'm doing the brake discs uh, pads at the same time. And now what you want to do is actually get into the engine. You need to open the bonnet to get to the brake cylinder to top up the brake fluid while you're doing this process. Now the brake fluid can be found underneath this uh, air filter. There she is. So what you'll do is you'll open it. But you know what, before you open it, clean it. There's a whole bunch of dust here. And you don't want those dust particles to fall into your brake fluid. Now that I've wiped off all the excess sand and dust, I'm going to open it and I'm going to let it lie on its side and I'm now going to top it up with brake fluid. I'm going to overfill it. Now as I said, open the other ones. Puncture it. Have it nearby. Now either yourself or you call someone to get in the car and to pump the brakes. It will be a weird feeling because the brake pedal will fall right to the ground and what you got to do now is open that nipple. Right. Now the best is to do this with spanners. Okay, it's a size, I think it's a size 11. Yeah, it's a size 11. Now, you can unscrew it a little bit, before you completely uh, loosen it, get someone or yourself to start pumping the brakes. Now, I have done this many times by myself, so it is possible. Um, in this case, because of the video, I'm going to get somebody to, to go and pump it. Alright, so what you do now, is you loosen this thing and you ask the person to pump the brakes. Okay. Now you can see the fluid is coming out here. There it comes. Filling up the reservoir. Okay, because I'm standing here, I'm just going to open this reservoir because I want to actually see the color. There it comes. And while the person is pumping the brakes, Remember to keep topping up the fluid so that no air gets in the system. The first wheel that you attend to, you'll use the most brake fluid for the reason that you are going to completely empty uh, or let's say transpose this fluid. Once that fluid finds its way to the first wheel, it will, you are literally flushing the system and you keep adding fluid as the person's pumping is uh, 
discharging the fluid through that pipe. And slowly you'll see the color of the fluid improve. Right, now, while the person is pumping the brakes, you slowly close the nipple, then the nut. You can do it by hand, and there will be increased resistance from the person who's pumping. They will find that they won't be able to pump anymore. And then you tighten it. And you don't go crazy with the tight, just a little bit tight. Right. Okay, you can verify with the person that when they pump it, it's stuck. So now this one has been... Uh, you've bled this side of the car. Now you've got to do this three more times. Right, so we continue with the bleeding of the brakes. We're now on the left hand side of the car, also still the front of the, the wheel. And now, as I said, you have to bleed each wheel one by one. So I've put the bleed uh, pipe here and because I'm going to have somebody pump the brake, I'm literally just focusing the, the pipe into the uh, what do you call this, this little bucket here and what's important is don't open the bleeder until the person is in the car and ready to pump the brake. Okay right, what I've done is I went to go fill up the reservoir, the tank in the, in, by the engine now I'm going to undo the, I've told the person, you can pump now the person is pumping the, the, uh, the pedal, the brake pedal, that's what it means when you say pump they're, 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 actually pumping the brake pedal okay let's open this quite a bit okay i'm going to fill up the reservoir now Okay, so as you can see the liquid coming out is now clear so it's time we can close it it is flush this thing so now I'll close it okay can stop pumping now we tighten it just a little bit tight there we go and we seal the nipple now we're going to move to the back of the car right jack up the car back now the bleeder is sitting here at the back I'm gonna open it get the bucket at the back the the screw the socket is actually a smaller one it's like a 10 yeah it's a 10 Okay, go for it. There comes the dirty oil. You can see the dirty oil. Look at the difference in color. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Thanks, Ruth. Nine. So this thing's actually on size now. Tighten it. Cap on. Done. Right. Now it's the last wheel. Okay. This one's a bit different. It's got a an extra for this uh, brakes for the sensor, the wear sensor. So you're gonna just take that off in order to get to the nut. Put the Leading tool there. Okay, the last one's a little bit different because you now want to make sure that you don't leave it over full. So what you gotta do is you pump it, you clean out the reservoir here in this little tank. 
and you fill it till it says maximum. Don't overfill it. Okay, just waiting to clean out the rest of the tank. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back there and close off that bleeding nipple. And I'm going to come back here. Right, so it's a little bit below the um, maximum level, so I'm just going to top it up a little bit. Um, let's get it. Yeah, now it's it's full now. Now I'm going to close the lid. I'm then going to start the car. Pump the brakes a few times with the car on. Then I'm going to come back and check the level. Right, I now start the car. And I pump the brakes a few times. Okay, just pump the brakes a little bit, hold it in, let go, hold it in, let go, hold it in. Not too hard. And let go. Now I switch off the car. And I check the brake fluid level. I can see the fluid level is at maximum. I'm just going to check it visually because it's all clear now. Yes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything back now. And in about three days I'm going to come back and check this level. If it's in the same place at maximum the job is complete. If this has gone down a lot, somewhere there's a problem. And that is how you bleed your brakes on the BMW 750. Thanks for watching.